Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite, bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. Let's say you're in a meeting with a prospective client, and you bet that they have a different opinion than yours that could lead to an objection to whatever it is you're proposing. That's when you tell a I know what you're thinking story. This was developed by Annette Simmons, who wrote the book, Whoever Tells the Best Story Wins. And here's an example of an I know what you're thinking story. Let's say you're a salesperson in a children's shoe store and you see a mother and her teenage daughter and the teenage daughter is falling head over heels in love with this pair of red shoes. And these are premium price shoes. And you can see the mother take a look at the price tag and purse her lips. That's when you walk over to her and say, I know what's going on. You, you see your daughter has fallen in love with these shoes, but this week red's in. What happens if next week orange is in? and you've paid a lot of money for these shoes. Guess what? Our store has a policy that if you buy these shoes and within a week your daughter won't wear them for any reason, you can bring them back and exchange them for another pair of shoes. So that takes away the whole problem of spending a lot of money for a pair of shoes your daughter won't love. And in all the years we've had this policy, we've had maybe two or three people bring them back. As a matter of fact, it happened last week. And we returned the, returned the pair of shoes, exchanged them, no questions asked. You see what you've done. You've respected the other person's opinion and you've showed why this is not an issue. So this week, as you're thinking of different stories you can tell when you're dealing with prospective clients, or maybe their prospective client is your boss or employees or other people, think of stories where you have helped somebody else who had an objection to what you're proposing and then they saw it wasn't a real problem and the two of you could work together. Because when you tell more stories like these and appeal to the emotional center of somebody's brain, you become the most persuasive person in the room. Thanks for watching.